Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how I modified this Arduino Mega breakout board shield so that I can attach the breakout shield for the sensors all in one big package to the Arduino Mega. So let's get into it. So for those of you who are following along with the Algae CO2 scrubber project, you would know that there's a lot of sensors. So what we have usually is the sensor shield, which would go directly onto the Arduino. Now, in this case, what we're going to need to do is run resistors from those sensor leads or those pins to the 5 volt rail. Now, that's standard for a lot of sensors and uh, other things like switches. Now, instead of running it, on the actual cable itself going into the sensor shield what i'm planning on doing is running this actual board separately so otherwise we're going to put a resistor between those pins on the shield uh, to actually get that to work the problem that we have is that the shields when they line up they don't actually fit all together so you can't just stack them continuously because of the way that the pins are all soldered on so what you'll find is there's no way of getting those back pins to actually line up into that shield below it uh, or that breakout board so what we're going to have to do is actually modify the shields to line up now instead of doing the the sensor shield and modifying that one i'm only going to modify the breakout board because as you'll see here the pins on those back pins there, they shoot across sideways a little bit. So there's no way you'll be able to line it up. So how we're going to do this is desoldering all of the pins on this breakout board. And I've purchased a bunch of header pin extensions, which I've got a whole different range of them to make sure that we can basically line up exactly how we want it so that all the boards will stack. So all we've got to do first is desolder all of those headers. Now, I have a previous video on how I actually desolder uh, using a few different methods. So you can go check that video out as well. But I'm using this desoldering iron, which is actually quite handy when you're doing quite a fair few pins in this case. So I'm just going to speed this up. I'm going to go through and show you what it will end up looking like and then once i've finished doing it all you can see here's all the solder that was taken off this board now there you go there's all the pins removed which makes it nice and easy for the next step which is adding in these extra headers that we need and i'm going to start with this back set of headers now what we can see is that it's actually bigger there's some that hang over the side so what we get is about four pins that hang over the edge so we don't want to really have them hanging over there so what i'm going to do is actually take out four of those pins and i can allow it to then sit on the other side and it'll actually fit up nice and easy so you'll see this in a second so then when I actually slot that one down onto there, it lines up nice and neat and it doesn't affect any of the other pins on the side. So we're just going to solder everything together now on those pins. And then afterwards, I'm going to go through and solder each of the other rows. Now we're making sure that these boards all line up straight so that it's all in a straight line. They all just plug in nice and easy. And the end result looks a little like this. What we can do now is actually slot the shields together and put the first board into the Arduino. Now, as always, be gentle when you're pushing the pins together. Uh, it will slot in eventually. You just have to be gentle not to bend anything. And then we can add the sensor shield on the top. And once it's done, we've got the full setup now. So now we can solder any of the resistors on the inside. We just plug the sensors into the top and it should make it a lot easier so one of the last things i'm going to show you is a heat sink i want to put onto the arduino now the arduinos don't put off a lot of heat but in this case and how i'm going to build this system it's going to be outdoors i want to install this extra heat sink just as a added precautionary we don't want it to overheat or have any issues so there's plenty of airflow that can flow through between those sensor boards and i'll probably have a fan as well to push some airflow so that's a breakdown of how we are going to set up the arduino shields hopefully this gives you some ideas as well if you want to do something similar in your own projects but 
make sure you like and subscribe so you can keep up to date with the algae project thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time